Okay, guys, going to move in. We just love talking Detroit Lions on this channel, and I'm going to roll with Jared Goff as my final prayer. Again, with so many so many quarterbacks on by this week, you might be in a situation where you're looking at your wire who to play, or maybe you're one of those teams that was waiting on Deshaun Watson, and he came out and gave you six points last week, and he's got a really tough matchup against Cincinnati who shuts down quarterbacks and wide receivers, and you – your confidence going back to Watson's very low. You don't know what to do. Well, if you go out there and look on your waiver wire, especially in one court, uh, we're talking one quarterback leagues here. Jared Goff is available in almost every single one of them. He's rostered under 50% on Yahoo. Uh, this is a game. It's a 53 point line, which is tied, you know, depending where you look on the book, which is tied for the highest on the week. They're two and a half point dogs, but honestly, this game could end up a lot closer than the records against Minnesota. The records might indicate between Minnesota and Detroit. It's crazy to me that, the spread is only two and a half points and it's a tough decision. It's tough to decide which way you want to go. Yeah. You wouldn't be thinking that, you know, a team with that potentially, you know, are sitting right around the best record versus the lions who a month ago only had one or two wins. You wouldn't be thinking this game would be close, but here we are. So, you know, Minnesota, they've been sixth worst against quarterbacks in the last four weeks. They've been eighth worst against quarterbacks on the season. Um, Goff finally has all of his weapons back, every meaningful weapon that is. Uh, he was QB 15 in their last out against Minnesota, but as we said, this is a very different team. Jared Goff was the quarterback four on the week last year. He threw the ball 78 times over the last two weeks. I think another 35 to 40 attempt day uh, is in order. So I'm, I'm putting Jared Goff in my lineups, expecting low quarterback one production pretty confidently. I, I with you. I'm, I'm pretty confident about that as well. Coming into the, the week, we have the Lions at 6 in scoring. Minnesota's at 11 in scoring, so I expect this to be a really high-level shootout. Detroit's also fourth in the, in the league on the season in touchdowns at 38. I know that there's been a, a decent number of rushing touchdowns. But I think if Jared Goff can get out of this game with 250 yards plus and two touchdowns plus, it's an easy lock for a top-12 play. And Jared Goff, he's playing himself into another season as a starter. I think that's really important as well. You know, they're going to have a top five pick in this draft from the Rams. And I wouldn't be surprised. There's a couple talented, you know, defensive tackles and edge rushers in for a team that could use more defensive playmakers in the top five projected to go this season. I would not be surprised if they don't go quarterback. Jared Goff probably knows that himself. He's got a lot to play for personally as well. I know he's he's been a guy who's been all about the Detroit Lions and this team, but that can't not affect you as a player. Uh, the rest of the season, he has pretty good matches. Week 18 at Green Bay will be could pro project to be tough, but Minnesota, he plays the Jets, the Panthers, the Bears. That's a four-game stretch where he can really prove himself, and I expect him to start strong against Minnesota, follow up on a good outing last week. Yeah, I'm with you on this. Uh, he's at least – Eclipsed that 250 yard mark five times out of his games this year. And there's been ones that are like 240, 235. So he's right around there almost every week, if not crushing it like he did last week at 340 yards and two touchdowns. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we, we love talking these starts at this season. Honestly, you know, Jared Goff, if you're a little nervous about it and you want to show us what quarterbacks are available in your league, I don't want to sound like a broken record today, but it's the, the link top of the description for our Discord. Hop in, throw a screenshot of your quarterback and say, is Jared Goff who I'm playing from this list? And I will tell you, yes, it is. So please drop it down, um, you know, or or put a comment down below. But honestly, the Discord, that's where the conversations get rolling. We post all our trades for Dynasty. We talk about how teams are doing within the league. We talk about redraft plays and start sits, especially this time of the year, just so important. So please come down. We're trying to make a conscious effort within these shows to just a quick little reminder that if, if if you have a couple minutes and you would like, you know, a more personal conversation with us, we're always there to address your questions. So please hop in and join 